never know how to start a YouTube video. What are you doing? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been wanting to make you guys a skincare video for a really long time because so many of you have requested it on Instagram. So I'm finally getting around to it. I just kind of wanted to show you my routine, what I do, what works for my skin. I also wanted to tell you guys that this video is not sponsored in any way. It's just genuinely the products that I use that I like and what works for me. It may or may not work for you as well. It really depends on your skin type. But yeah, I just wanted to make you guys this video because I really love watching other people's skincare videos and thought maybe you guys would want to see mine. So I'm going to kind of split it up into morning, night, and then my occasional products, even though a lot of what I do in the morning and night is also occasional, like masks and stuff. So I'm just going to kind of wing it and see how it goes. So let's get into it. First things first, I never, ever, ever fail to wash my face at night. Never, I don't care if I get home at 3 a.m. after a night out, I don't care. I always, always wash my makeup off. So I'm gonna start with morning. When I wake up, my skin is already fresh, so I just splash it with cold water. I don't feel the need to wash it again in the morning because I think that that just kind of strips your skin. So I splash it with cold water, and then I use one of two products, just kind of depending on my mood. So I have, this is, Let's see, it's DCL Hydra Boost Finishing Serum. So it has hyaluronic acid, which is really great for like plumping your skin and giving you a youthful glow. So sometimes I put the hyaluronic acid on or I put on, it's Moon Acnari Brightening Youth Serum. And this is, I'm gonna start right off with this, my favorite product that I'm gonna show you guys in this video. So it has prickly pear seed oil, argan oil, and I believe rose oil. Yeah, and it's amazing, it smells amazing, it's organic, and um, I don't know, it just, you can use it as an eye cream, you can use it as a moisturizer, I put it on my neck, so I just put this on in the morning, and it just brightens my skin, and honestly just makes your skin look flawless before makeup. So if I don't use the hyaluronic acid serum, I always use the Moon Brightening Youth Serum. And then the next step, which I do every single morning is, Murad es Essential C SPF 30 Day Cream. So I wear sunblock on my face every single day because it's really great for anti-aging. It's good for your skin. You have to protect your skin. And then vitamin C is also really good for repairing any damage that's been done to your skin, like age spots, etc. And it brightens your skin. So this is my favorite. It's um one of the only sunblocks for your face that I found that doesn't break me out. So I love this one. I use it every day. I lost the cap because I'm super messy and I travel a lot and I don't know where it ended up. So I use this every single day. Then, yeah, that's kind of it for my morning routine, honestly. Sometimes I put on this, again, vitamin C. I found that vitamin C products work really, really well for my skin. So I'll also dot on sometimes in the morning this Peter Thomas Roth, the vitamin C eye cream. I'm gonna link everything below since I don't really technically know the names of everything. Um, so I'm gonna link everything down below if you guys wanna get the products too. But sometimes I'll dot on this eye cream, but not always because if I use the Moon Serum, it kind of doubles as like an under eye treatment as well. Okay, so on to, there's a bug. Okay, <laughs> on to what I use at night. So for bed, and after a photo shoot or a day where an event where I've been wearing a lot of makeup, I always wash my face with Cetaphil. It's super inexpensive. You can get it at the drugstore. I get mine at Ralph's or you can get it at Kroger, Walmart, Target. You can kind of get it anywhere. It's really inexpensive. Like it definitely is no more than like seven or eight bucks. Um, so yeah, I wash my face with Cetaphil. I don't really use a makeup remover because I find that in the shower at the end of my day, Cetaphil pretty much works to get all of my makeup off. So. This is what I use to cleanse my face every single night. If there's anything else, any remaining mascara or darkness under my eyes, I just use the Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover and I just put it on a cotton ball and wipe it across my eyes. That's it. Then, every single night, without fail, gotta show it to you again, my favorite product, the Moon Brightening Youth Serum. It's just incredible. I love the way it feels. I love the way it smells. So I use this every single night and then if I want a little bit of extra hydration, I also layer on top of it this. It's Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. 
So if you see a theme here, something I found that really works well for my skin is hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. So those are ingredients that I always look for in my skincare. And this just feels super creamy and buttery and it absorbs really fast. And so it's really nice before bed, I layer this on. I feel like my skin's super hydrated and when I wake up, I feel really glowy and refreshed. So I use this and then I also always use Actually, I recently started using it, but I do really like it. The um, Peter Thomas Roth Potency Eye Cream that I showed you that I also sometimes use in the morning, but I definitely use it every night before bed because I think that's when it's important to, I don't know, really layer products and make sure you're doing everything you need to be doing to make sure you're preventing and fighting wrinkles and skin damage and all that jazz. Okay, another product that I've started using um, I kind of use this whenever in the morning, at night, before bed, just whenever I feel like my lips need a little bit of extra hydration or before I get ready for an event. This Alginist Genius Collagen Lip, I'm gonna show you. So I was at a photo shoot and the makeup artist put this on my lips and it got super cold and tingly and I was like, wow, what is that? And she showed it to me and said, it hasn't even been released yet, but it's this incredible collagen lip treatment and so what she told me was that you can put it on morning and night and over time it will stimulate the collagen in your lips to naturally plump them. I'm not sure if that's entirely true or not, but I started using it a few months ago and I do really love it. I guess it's whenever you moisturize your lips, I always feel like they look a little bit plumper because it's just, you know, whenever your lips are hydrated, they're more plump. So I feel like this has been working a bit and I love the way it feels. I love the way it smells. So I've been using this at night when I remember and definitely before I do my makeup like while I'm doing my skin prep. Okay, so that's about it for my morning and nighttime everyday routine. I don't know, to some of you guys that's gonna seem like a ton of products, but compared to some videos I've watched, I feel like it's actually not that many products because I do try to kind of keep my skincare routine fairly simple and when I find something that works, I really stick to it. I feel like with hair, I have to switch up my shampoo a lot or it doesn't work, but with skincare, when I find something that I love, I stick to it and then I don't have as many issues with breakouts or anything like that. It's like my skin knows and it works well for me. So now I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I use more occasionally and what I feel like treating myself. So first thing is if I do have a pimple or a breakout, the best stuff that I have tried that I have found for pimples, if you wanna get rid of a zit fast is Mario Badesco drying lotion. I don't know if I said his name right, but this stuff works really, really well. So I just take a Q-tip, you don't shake it. There's this pink uh, powder at the bottom and then there's a liquid atop, mine's almost out. You dot it with a Q-tip, you put it on your pimple overnight and it completely dries out by morning. This stuff works really, really well. Another thing, if you get a pimple, I know everyone says this, but I mean it, don't touch it, don't pick it, like your skin, Think of your skin like a flower. If you touch and poke and pick at a flower, the flower is gonna get damaged. It's not gonna look as beautiful. Your skin is the same. If you poke at and pick your pimples, I know it's so hard and it's so tempting and I do it too, especially with blackheads. I'll look in the mirror and I'll like go to town and squeeze my whole face. But then in the morning, the next day, my face always looks worse. So I honestly, I don't even get extractions when I get a facial because I really, think it does more harm to your skin than good. So I put on the Mario Badesco drying lotion if I have a zit in the morning. It's at least half the size, if not gone. So I swear by this stuff. For face masks, my all time favorite is the SK2 facial treatment essence mask. It is a bit expensive. So I kind of save these masks for special occasions before events, before important meetings. They're really great. They really, really plump and hydrate your skin. I feel like I do see immediate results whenever I use this. My mom is really obsessed with them too because she is 64 and she thinks it really like minimizes all of her fine lines and wrinkles, whatever. So I love this one, but since it is pricey, I try not to use it like every single week. It's more for special occasions. So my second favorite one, if you don't want to spend the hefty price for the SK2 mask, is just the... Sephora Rose Face Mask. I also feel like this one works really well. It smells really nice, it plumps and hydrates your skin, and it's just a few bucks, so it's a lot less expensive. So this one's really great as well. I'd say those are my two favorite face masks. I do love a sheet mask because I feel like it holds the product on your skin instead of the product just immediately evaporating off of your skin. Next thing that I love are eye masks. I have two of my favorites. 
So I have the Shiseido Benefits Wrinkle Resistance Masks. I have a big box of them here. And then I recently got these and these might be becoming my new favorite. They are Jana Vargas Bright Eye Firming Masks. I don't know why I'm putting my hand behind these, like that's gonna do anything. Anyways, I love a good under eye mask because I think it's really great to pop on while you're doing your makeup. You can do your eye makeup and then all the fallout of your eyeshadow lands on your eye mask and then when you peel them off, your under eyes are now hydrated and youthful and beautiful. So I do love a good under eye mask. I also think they're great before a shoot, whenever I wake up and my skin is puffy or tired, I'll put on an eye mask and wear it all the way to the photo shoot until I get there and when I get there peel it off and then my skin looks more rejuvenated so I'm a big fan of eye masks for sure and then the last thing I want to show you guys I forgot so give me one minute and the last thing that I want to show you guys is my jade face roller I feel like you can get these super inexpensive on Amazon that's where I ordered mine I keep it in the freezer and I use it in the morning when I feel like I'm looking tired or extra puffy I bring them on the airplane with me I use it sometimes when I'm on my way to a photo shoot. You could also use it at night. It feels really good and I just use it to massage my face. I always start at the jaw and kind of work my way up and then I use the smaller sesh, roll my under eyes and then I go across my forehead. It feels really great. It's great for like detoxifying your skin. You can also do it down your neck which is good for your lymphatic drainage. So it really depuffs, detoxifies your skin and just kind of wakes your face up, especially if you keep it in the freezer. And it feels really, really good. So it's great before makeup. It's great whenever you feel like pampering yourself a little bit. So I do love using the Jade Roller. So I think that that covers it for my skincare routine. I hope that you guys liked it. I hope you learned something. I hope it wasn't like a boring lecture that you were listening to. But I also want to say it's really important to know your skin type and what works for you because if you have super dry skin or super acne prone skin it might not my what i use for my skin might not work the same on you it really depends so i have combination skin i've tried so many products and i really found products that i think are great that have good ingredients that work for my skin type so it really just depends but i hope you guys like this video let me know if you want to see more videos like this or if you're like girl no just stop let me oh actually don't let me know that because that might hurt my feelings but <laughs> okay so just let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this thanks for watching i love you i love you i love you i love you are you a good girl